Yo, what's good everybody? Today we're gonna be on my favorite subreddit ever, r slash PokeLeaks, looking at a pretty highly upvoted potential leak for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into it. Also, sorry about my voice. I've been pretty sick for the past like two weeks, but obviously I still wanna get stuff out to you guys. All right, gamers, so brace yourself. I am only sharing this information due to the confusion around the Faithful remake slide. A majority of the fans believe this means a one-to-one -one remake. This is unequivocally not true. I did not even know this was a word. This simply means this is a retelling of the story, but with tweaks, similar to how Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were faithful remakes to Ruby and Sapphire with modern updates. 90% of the story was the same as the original games, and that will be the case with these remakes as well. Also, if you're confused what they mean about faithful remakes, like if that's another leak or something, they it's what they say right here a majority of the fans believe it's a one-to-one -one remake or a faithful remake like every remake since x and y omega ruby alpha sapphire and let's go the Sinnoh games take place in the Mega Evolution timeline. This is how Diamond and Pearl will be faithful to the story, but still have a modern twist. In the base game, the story will be the same as the original series, but Megas will be introduced after the third gym battle with Maylene. If you don't remember who Maylene is, it's this girl at this city, I think it's Vealstone City. After battling Maylene in a gym battle, Maylene will state that she thinks you have potential to master Mega Evolution and will challenge you with a Mega Lucario. Thus is a callback to how X and Y originally gave Mega Evolution to the player after beating the third gym leader, whose ace is Lucario. Mega Stones can be found in the underground as soon as the exploration kit is given to the player, but the Mega Evolution band isn't given to the player until they beat Maylene's Mega Lucario. Gym leaders 4 through 8, the Elite 4, Cynthia, and Cyrus all use Mega Pokemon in battle. Gym leaders 1 through 3 will also use Mega Evolution during their rematch after beating the main story and completing the post game. Since the base platinum decks has so many returning megas, only 10 new megas were introduced. New megas were only created to give each gym leader and elite 4 member a mega as well as a mega for each starter. So this list is kind of weird, but uh, so it's Rourke has Mega Rampardos, Gardenia has Mega Cherum, Maylene has Mega Lucario, Wake Mega Gyarados, Fantina has Mega Gengar, Byron has Mega Bastiodon, Candice has Mega Bob Snow, and Volkner has Mega Electivire, Eren has Mega Scizor, Bertha Mega Hippowdon, Flint Mega Magmortar, Lucian Mega Alakazam, and Cynthia Mega Garchomp, of course, with Cyrus having Mega Weavile. Going on, Dialga and Palkia also get new forms, but it is unclear if it is Primal Reversion or something new. This is why Dialga and Palkia were not shown in the trailer, nor were the box arts shown either. The rest of the remaining Mega Pokemon not normally found in Sinnoh, such as Pidgeot and Beedrill, can be found on the post-game island fight area. Their corresponding Mega Stones can also be found in the underground, but only by using the exploration kit on that island. The only other tweaks to the story will be in the post-game. Giratina will not receive its own story like Rayquaza. Instead, by bringing both Dialga and Palkia to Spear Pillar, it will open a portal to the Distortion World to catch Giratina. This is meant to be a callback to Platinum. Darkrai and Cresselia will receive a post-game story that will allow the player to catch the Myth the Gopal Guan Dark Rai similar to how the Delta episode allowed the catching of Deoxys. That would be so dope. I freaking love Darkrai. <laughs> While this may sound like a lot of changes on paper, most of these changes don't affect the story, just gameplay. Other updates include the introduction of modern moves, the fairy typing, the base Pokedex being the Platinum Dex, in-game trades for regional variants, such as trading Ponyta for Galarian Ponyta, similar to how Let's Go had in-game trades for Alolan forms. Unfortunately, it appears HMs will be making a return. I mean, I'm cool with that. <laughs> and following Pokemon does not appear to be available in the entire game. Interesting. So I think the main problems that people have with this is why does Gardena get Mega Cherum instead of Mega Roserade? Mega Roserade would be so freaking sick and it's like her ace, <laughs> so it only makes sense. Also another good point, they talk about so much about pre-game, post-games, how to get Mega Stones, where they're going to be in the underground, but then they say it's unclear Primal Reversion or something new regarding Diaga and Palkia forms. Why would they know about post, pre, mid-game, but not know if Diaga and Palkia get these Primal Reversions or not? I mean, they even go as far to tell us this post-game story, but they don't know. <laughs> If Diago and Palkia get primal reversions. Also, 
why would they bring back hms i mean like it's cool but it just seems like like it just wouldn't make sense there is a lot of detail in here and it was a cool read and obviously i'm grateful because i got to make a cool video about it but i feel like there's just such a push for the return of megas and that's kind of where this is derived from but i want to know what you guys all think about this do you think this remake is true if you think it's not real what out of this remake would you like to see you know you can like a, a, a leak or a speculation rumor post and obviously no it's bs i'm pretty sure this is bs but i do like the thought of new mega evolutions being added you know what i mean i wouldn't mind hms it's just they have this whole system where they don't use hms anymore so it would just be kind of weird if they brought hms back i mean the giratina distortion world thing is cool dark rye having its own event is freaking awesome too i would love to see that but this just is just weird <laughs> but again obviously this is what we come into right i don't go on r slash pokey leaks to find the next biggest true leak <laughs> actually so meme so with that said let me know what you guys all think and thank you for watching i'll see you soon peace